So to be honest, I actually don't have that many hot takes, but the couple I do have are pretty strong. So I just wanted to make a video showcasing which ones I have. All right, so my first hot take is I think Sonic Colors is overrated. Now I do like it, but it's just not on the same level as Gens or Unleashed. It's better than Forces though. I'm actually pretty shocked when I think about how some people have this as their favorite Sonic game, and I don't really get that. Like I'll see tier lists and people will put it at the S tier. And to be honest, for me, at best, maybe. If I'm being generous, maybe A, but realistically, I'm putting it in B. I realized this especially after playing Sonic Colors Ultimate. Although that port wasn't great, that's not why I think it's overrated. The main reason I think it's overrated is that everything that's been done in Colors has been done better elsewhere. If you look at the boost stages, they're better and longer in Generations and Unleashed. While yes, Gens has classics on it, and Unleashed does have the Werehog, if you actually look at the content in both of them, the actual like boost part, it adds up to like more content overall than in colors. Gens is a bit more debatable, but definitely an Unleashed. If you look at the actual stage numbers, yeah, colors has more, but apart from like the main acts, a lot of the acts, some of them are like less than like a minute and they're completely 2D. Also like half of them will just reuse elements from earlier levels. They'll just change like the objects and like the enemies in it. And some are just straight up trash. It's like that one stage in Sweet Mountain and that other one in Aquarium Park. To be honest, the only reason why I could see this could be someone's favorite game is if they really like the Wisps. But aside from that, I don't really see it. I just want to reiterate that I do still like it, but just not as much as most people. I actually like Eggman Land from Sonic Unleashed. Now, I know how a lot of people hate it, and I actually do get why. And in fact, I used to when I was younger. Seriously fucked up. We almost died. So you agree? Fuck yes. That was, th th this was insane. That was pure luck. I was not in control of that situation at all. <laughs> it's extremely long and honestly, almost obnoxiously difficult on the first time you go through it. But to be honest, I actually like the difficulty. This is Eggman Land. This is a stage that has been alluded to since the first adventure game. Of course it should live up to its expectations and it sure did. Just like you'd expect, it's the hardest stage in the game and probably the hardest in Sonic history. And at the end of the game, it should be. Especially in Unleashed, which is already a pretty difficult game. I like how it's a day and night stage at the same time and I remember thinking this was really cool back in the day when I first played it. The thing is with Sonic, usually, when you have bad experiences in the game, they're usually only really bad on the first time through, and this couldn't be more true with Eggman Land. When I replayed Unleashed a couple years ago, I was actually really dreading the stage because I'd only be in it once ever at this point. But when I actually got to it, it wasn't even that bad on my second run through. Sure, I still died a lot, but compared to the first time I played it, this was so much better. Like, I didn't get a game over like the first time. I also really liked how Sega hid this stage from like, everyone until the game was released because i don't think it was in any of the trailers i might be wrong but i do not remember eggman Knight ever appearing in any trailers this hot take to be honest is probably a really hot one because i know most people hate eggman land i actually do really like it though i like every stage in sonic unleashed to be honest except skyscraper scamper night that stage can go die in a hole oh i also hate most of the additional ones and that one child dlc one that is ugh. Okay, this hot take might be the one that's the hardest. I actually don't care for multiple playable characters in the Sonic series as much as I thought I did. And what I mean by that is, I actually would be happy with the next game if you just play as Sonic. I know a lot of people say that dream game is where you have multiple characters, multiple stories, but to be honest, I actually would be happy with just playing as Sonic. I used to really want multiple playable characters, but after Forces, I realized I was just echoing what most YouTubers said and that I was thinking that I really wanted another game like Adventure 2 and Adventure 1. Because when I actually sat down and thought about it, I realized I don't even like most of them as much as Sonic. When I go back to replay games like Adventure 1 and Adventure 2, I'm replaying the Sonic stages. I'm not going back for the treasure hunting stages or the Amy stages or the big stages. Don't get me wrong, I like fast characters like Shadow of Blaze, but to be honest, that's probably only because they play like Sonic. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. Sonic's gameplay is what made me want to get into the series. It wasn't characters like Tails, Knuckles, Silver, Amy, definitely not big. I mean, when I explain it like that, maybe you get it, but 
I don't know. Some people still really like multiple player characters. And to that, I answer, do you? Like, do you really miss playing the treasure hunting stages? Yeah, they're not that bad, true. Like, they're not horrible. But when you go back and replay those games, why are you going back? Like, you're not... No one... I don't really know anyone or have heard anyone that goes back and replays, like, the big stages. I knew that's a bad example. Or, like, the knuckle stages for fun. Like, I'll replay Eggman Land for fun, but I won't replay Mad Space for fun. But yeah, those are a couple of my hot takes. Yeah, it's a bit short, I only had three. But to be honest, those are the only ones I could really think of right now. That I had a feeling most people might disagree with. Maybe you'll agree with them. If I can think of more, I'll make a part two to this.